Here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, what is everyone? My name is Noariso, aka Eighth Wolf, and welcome to another Katana, Katana unboxing. <laughs> Let me give y'all a little bit of a, a little bit of background, a little bit of context to to this unboxing first of all let, let me show you all the box but before we do anything else let's here she freaking is look at this look at this beautiful box so now let me give you all ooh, a little bit of context to how i got this uh got this box because there's a little bit of a story to it <laughs> what i did to get this console i've never gotten out of my way to do this for anything else in my life ever i actually had to show up to Best Buy the day before this thing got released. I showed up there around 2.30 p.m. and was there the entire day, slept there all night, and woke up the next morning at 7.30 a.m. Um, for me to get my ticket. Okay, so before we jump into the first clip, let's talk about how rare this console really is. A regular Xbox Series X, you know, same as the PlayStation, they're so hard to get. Like, they are so freaking hard to get, especially if you're playing that online game where you're trying to get the console online. The odds of you get, you have to get really lucky and you have to be trying really hard. Uh, my brother, Jiboshito, y'all may know him. Um, it took him over half a year, I think six months, over six months to get his PS5. So when I, you know, heard about this console and I knew it was going to come out, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I was like, if a regular Xbox Series X gets gets sold out instantly within a matter of minutes, how how am I going to get my hands on this console? So luckily, that same month, um, I have a friend who who works at Best Buy, and I didn't know he worked there until you know I was there one day, a couple a couple months ago actually. I was there one day with a cousin. I ran into him. And I was like, oh dude, you work? He's like, yeah, man, I work here. And we just kind of got to talking and whatnot. He's just like, yeah, bro, like, let me know if you ever need anything, man. Let me know if you ever like. Need any like cool deals or if you want to know about anything happening soon i was like dude i will because <laughs> there will come a time that i will want something so i ended up <laughs> once i found out that this console was going to be a thing i texted him was like hey man i heard that this the console is going to be dropping at some point what is there any way you could help me like low-key like grab one for me like hide it like what can we do so that i assure myself when he was like ah there's not really much i can do i don't really know um i'll let you know if i get more information but it's I, it's too soon to tell and i'm like all right that's fine so i'm like thank you you know either way i appreciate it so a couple a couple of months go by like a month or two and then he just texts me like four days ago and it's like hey man so i got some insider info the console is dropping on monday um and it's in person only so if you want a chance i would or, yeah i would straight up show up like sunday and you might have to pull an all-nighter if you want it and i was like let's freaking go like i'm gonna i'm gonna hit it i got really happy because he was like we're only doing like in-person sales like they're not gonna be putting it online um at least not on monday it was gonna be like in person only and that got me really hyped that actually got me super excited because i was like in person i can do if i'm relying on like wi-fi and the internet and and, and hackers and, and and technology it's luck i feel like it's just purely luck based but for this one when they told me that it was going to be an in-person drop i was like i actually stand a chance i actually stand a freaking chance to get this console so i kind of thought about it and i was like am i really gonna do this you know i have to wake up like i don't know what time i have to show up because then i've never done something like this before so i didn't know what time i was actually gonna have to like show up to get to get the console a little bit of extra context every single um xbox that i've ever owned way back from the 360 has only ever been a special edition halo xbox and that that's just a fact i'm gonna make a video showing them all off now that i have all of them but i think that's important to note and 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 why this was so important to me right so i remember i woke up sunday morning and right after church i went straight to best buy it was like 1 12 p.m like 12 or 1 p.m and there wasn't anyone there yet lined up. And I went in and I asked some information. And when I asked some information, literally in that same exact moment, three more people showed up asking about the same exact thing that I was asking as to when the drop was happening and all that. Because at this point, the drop wasn't live. Like the drop wasn't, um, you know, a thing that people knew about. It was kind of like hidden. It was only people who had insider knowledge who knew about it. Like they haven't, Best Buy hadn't published or, or, or said anything about it. So... But they did, you know, when asked, they were like, yeah, yeah, it's happening tonight. And these, these are the details. So again, this was like 1 p.m. I was going to go home to Battle Creek to go see my family. And I ended up, you know, kind of panicking saying like, do I just stay here? Because what are the odds of me going home and then coming back? Because it's a 30 minute drive there. And then however long I'm there, plus another 30 minutes back. That when I come back, it's done. Like they're just gone. 
you know or like well not that they're gone but like there's already like 10 to 20 people there because again i had no idea how many xboxes there were and at the time they didn't really tell me I, and i was just nervous but I, I i went for it and i was like there's no way you know it'll be chill like i doubt anyone will show up so i go home and i tell gabe about it and my family they're like you should go like what are you doing here don't risk it go and just wait in line if you're willing to. and i was like okay bet so i ended up going back and i showed up to best buy at like 2 3 p.m and i was so nervous i was so nervous driving up because i was like what are the odds that when i asked other employees in that same exact moment two three more people asked about it like crazy so i end up showing up and there is one other dude already set up in a tent waiting i'm like oh my goose i'm the last goose i was instantly just like oh huge relief off my shoulders because i was so stressed that i that i had lost my opportunity i was like i'm gonna get this you make 10 people that's gonna be it but i was i made it so i showed up and my goodness were the conditions not well um michigan weather's crazy it's either really beautiful sunny nice and toasty or freezing and and raining and then it's like raining wet and then snowing a little bit a couple hours later it's it's crazy so okay so now let's get into the first clip here is when i first arrived and saw the dude in the tent we are here it is like two it is like 2 p.m there's already another tent next to me we are the second people here it's 2 p.m. That was one of the, 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 the things. <laughs> I was not prepared. I showed up. I just had like a little chair, plopped it down. My plan was like, I'm just going to, you know, have a bunch of blankets on me and um, call it good. You know, like just be super bundled up and have blankets and I'll sleep there all night. Okay, so update. It's really cold out there. Like really cold. It's 2.38. It's only been a couple minutes. I decided to come and chill in my car because, I mean, I'm going to be out there all night and there's nobody here yet other than the dude in his tent and i'm waiting i'm still waiting for gabe he's getting he's getting our provisions and stuff getting us ready for the night i kind of have to pee already but i'm just super nervous i'm just gonna sit here and i think the moment i see someone else try to like start walking up here or maybe get in line that's when i'm just gonna like sit my butt down on those chairs and never move or once gabe gets here i'll probably we'll probably head on out there but because yeah because right now the dude in his tent it's like a super private tent, so I'm just basically the only one sitting there awkwardly. I don't know. I'm, I'm at, once Gabe gets there, it'll be a little better. But again, I'm gonna be out there all night. I don't technically need to be out there right now because nobody else is there. So I'm just, I'm, but I'm here. I'm here and I'm looking at our spots, making sure that they're being guarded. And I have to pee. And I, I will go inside to go pee. I come back and there's already another couple setting up their tent next to me. And I'm like, <sighs> it's starting. And again, it was like 2 or 3 p.m., bro of the day before and i'm like wow i am glad that i showed up when i have at least this way i know i've guaranteed myself this xbox i was excited about that but again dude it started like raining and it was freezing out so all my clothes started to get wet and and you know everyone was setting up tents around me because then more people started to show up with like tents um and yeah i had to call gabe and i was like Jew, <laughs> you need to you need to when you come bring us a tent so yeah, the good thing is Gabe, Gabe had us with the hookup. He did. Let me play some clips of when I showed up, you know, when I set up the tent and when I eventually got the Xbox. So here's the mini vlog if you want to watch it. Roll the clip. The tent is set up. It is 5.02 and we are out here. It's nice. Everyone's really nice. We've had some good talks with people. Gonna be chilling there and I'll show you the inside later. <laughs> 7 a.m. 30 minutes till we get the tickets. So excited! 
as I hand these out by all means, but uh, we're trying to make this nice and safe and easy for you guys. Sure. Uh, thanks for, uh, for staying out here in some cases all night long. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much. And uh, there's the first tickets. You guys do need to stay in line. We're going to start letting people in uh, shortly before 8 o'clock, okay? So I'm okay. with him. Okay. Which, by the way, I was the second person in line. So when I got my ticket, it said ticket number two. I was so freaking excited. Yeah. That's <laughs> the number one. Oh, yeah, it's right there, my ticket number two. Dude, let's I'm go. I'm keeping keep this. Keep oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm keeping yeah. this. Yeah. how we said that? Yeah. yeah. For five people, you got to go into the store and hang a right. And just go down on the people that have their hands up in the air, okay? So straight ahead, hang a right. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys, how are you doing? Thank you, good, good, good. good. Woo woo, thank you. We got it. Let's go. Where are we set up here? Anyone, anyone. All right. I am home. Here's the baby. We freaking did it. Let's go. Okay. If I am including this in the unboxing, enjoy the unboxing. Anyways, so now y'all are fully caught up on the lore. One last shout out to Romelito and to my boy Tyler. They both showed up at some point during that night just to show up and give support. I didn't, I didn't end up going to sleep until like 3 a.m. that night. Um, and I, I ended up waking up like 6.45 that day. So I was so exhausted. All right. Well, I think the time is nigh. Let us get to this unboxing. I am so excited. Let's freaking hit it. No more putting it off. And again, remember, Wolfpack, we don't do no regular unboxings here. <laughs> we do katana unboxings here's the katana that we're gonna be using um i might hurt the merchandise we really don't want to but hey I, I would never do this if i wasn't making a video out of it there we go peep the wolf merch by the way anywho all right let's grab this bad boy oh, okie dokie again oh don't mind the freaking um i'm sorry that i don't have like a professional setup but this is just this is gonna have to do it actually looks pretty good and the only thing i didn't think about is the the mic situation but i think this is okay this box is in really good condition originally the guy who gave me the um the console he gave me like he gave me like a really crappy <laughs> like a really crappy box this this front part right here was like torn and he was just gonna give it to me and i was like hey um i i made a face and i was like "Ooh, that one's kind of like torn can you get me another one i was like yeah, yeah yeah and then the guy next to me tried doing the same thing and they and and the guy was like a big butthole to him but anyways enough story time looking back on it in hindsight that actually pissed me off so much the guy who said that to him he was actually the first guy in line if you would have told me that because i guess he was like yeah could, could you get me another one because this one's kind of like scuffed the guy looked at him was like really are we really gonna do this and he started walking away with it and the guy who was first in line was like yeah please <laughs> And then the guy was like, all right, I guess we're doing this and went and got another box. Bro, if that would have been me, I'd have been like, I'm the first person in line. I've been here since 2 p.m. Yes. Yes, please. You're good. Yeah, yeah. Getting, get, getting me, me the best dang box that I freaking want, dude. I guess the other guy's argument was just, oh, we have a long line of people waiting and we're going to do this. I, do <laughs> I want to smack that guy's face. Let's, let's unbox this, baby. Here's the sword, my people. Here we Okay, let's try to make a clean cut here. That's fine. So this is the first cut that we have to do. Oh, it's really tight on there too. It is really freaking tight on there. Oh no. Oh, let's be careful. I don't want to damage the box here, dude. I really don't want to damage the box. Okay, there we go. We've inserted it. We've made the insertion. Oh no. Oh no. Box taking minimal damage. Box taking minimal damage. Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, it is officially open, everyone. It is officially open. Let me take off this this beautiful. There we go. The, the good thing is, since this is like literally a brand new console, ah, oh, this tape isn't hard to take off. Because usually when it gets really old, this taking off this tape in the future is a pain in the half. Ooh, there's like a thing underneath there. That's interesting. The satisfying rip at the end. All right, I hope everyone's ready. Here we go. The big reveal. The big reveal! Oh, is there tape on the... Is there tape on the bottom of this thing? Oh my gosh, there might be tape on the bottom. Oh, there is! There is! I was like, why isn't it coming off? Oh, and there's more tape here. What the heck? I don't want to have to do the katana cut, but we're going to have to do it. Colleen! All right, here we go. Katana cut. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Oh no, damaging the box a little bit. No, no, no. There we go, there we go. Cut, 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 cut. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> I don't want to slice my face off. Um, here we go. Three, two, 
one. Sexy Master Chief, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so sexy. Oh, look at him in the back. The 20 years of Halo slash Xbox, bro. Let's freaking go, dude. Look at the back. Look at the back. Look at Master Chief, bro. Looking like a beast in his little 20 sticker. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, this is a beautiful box. If there was ever a box that I don't want to ruin, it's this one. Oh my gosh. That's sexy. So, at the bottom here, we can see... <laughs> A little bit of the, the tape that I, that I caught earlier. So let me take this off. This box is too pretty for me to continue to risk. Oh, but then it won't be a real katana unboxing. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Just to show y'all that I'm risking my life here. My beautiful box for the YouTube video. Oh, clean cut. All right, right here we got the same one. I'm trying not to cut myself. I'm in the press of doing this. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh no, don't cut the box, dude. Come on, come on. There we go, baby. Okay, we've got that. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to open her up. Okay, we did it. We did it, everyone. We did it. Oh no. <laughs> There's tape down here. I just want to open this bad boy up. I've never been more stressed on seeing someone cutting tape. Oh my god. There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh my goose. Oh my Lucy goosey. This Xbox could survive the Titanic sinking. <laughs> I mean, if if the survival rate was directly correlated with the amount of tape usage, yeah. Now, bro, look at this tape wad that I have. Oh my god. That is it. Here we go. The big reveal. I don't know how to open this up. Oh my god. This is it. This is it. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I open it sideways. Whoa! This is actually really freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my, what is this? There's a nice little logo. And then here we also have the 20 the 20 year logo. So we're gonna get to that. No, okay, it's not a code. Good. Not that I don't want y'all stealing my code, but okay, nice. Some nice a nice little Halo Infinite Digital Direct. Thing. Kind of like showing you how to set up the, the console, so. Okay, well here's the second big reveal. Dude, yeah, I think this is the freaking console, man. Oh yeah, this is the heavy boy, this is it. This is the console, oh my gosh, dude. This has gotta be one of the most beautiful pieces of art that I've seen on a box, honestly. Especially being a Halo fan, like it's crazy. Cause like the outside of the box, like, you know, it's, it's okay. It's, it's it's definitely okay, but um, nah, man, that was worth it. Like the big reveal underneath the box, so beautiful. Okay, hope y'all are ready, cause here comes whatever the heck is in here. <laughs> We're gonna leave the console for the end. I feel like we have to. So let's open up this bad boy. Oh baby, here comes the controller. Here comes the controller, bro. Ah, look at this. Look at this bad boy. Let's freaking go. Two. Dude, sorry, I was so excited, but look at how sexy that looks. Look at how sexy that looks, man. Oh my goose. I'm gonna be honest, it was so worth camping out for this. Like, so freaking worth it. And then in the back, we have the nice little celebrating the 20 years. Aw, oh, dude, that is so freaking cool. That is so cool. And actually, I don't know if the camera can pick up on it, but if you look at the back, the grip, this is textured. Like it's actually like textured, like kind of like not sticky, but it's like, it has a texture to it. It's really hard to describe. And so are the triggers, dude. The triggers are textured. That is insane. This is so beautiful, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, it feels so nice, dude. It feels so freaking nice. <laughs> I almost don't even want to use this. I'm about to just buy another one and not use this. It's so beautiful. There's that. I'm pretty sure in here, yep, there's just like cables, which we don't necessarily need right now. I feel like, is it just, I think it's just empty there. That's everything that's in here. Okay, here's the console. Here's the beautiful console. But the outside again, it's just more of it covering it. Nice little 117 there. Nice little UNSC tag. And then there's the 20 years. The big console reveal, dude. Oh, dude, it's wrapped inside another thing. It's wrapped inside another thing. 
Let's open up this bad boy. Oh, dude, that's so sexy. Oh, that's so sexy. That's not even funny. Oh, my. Oh, my God, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is so hot. That is so hot, dude. There it is. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Look at the, the top. Look at the freaking top with the blue, dude. Look at that. That's insane. It looks so good, dude. It looks so freaking good. But, but look at this. It's so nice, man. The sides, it's got the nice gold tint to it, dude. Look at this. Look at that. The nice little gold Xbox. This side's also basically the same. Then the back. With the nice little 20 year old logo right there. Oh, dude. This is so beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. It is so freaking cool. You don't even need Halo to be a Halo fan to appreciate this. This right here, man. It's crazy. That's crazy. It's so sexy, dude. Oh, it's so sexy. Wow. The blue on the top, like, look at that, dude. It looks like it just kind of like glows. Legit looks like it just glows. But again, I'm very happy that it's like surprisingly smaller than what I had heard. Again, I've never had an next gen console, but even just looking at the PS5, dude, the PS5 towers over this thing. And this thing is, again, it's next gen. It's powerful as crap. <laughs> and I'm just so happy I have it, dude. The blue, the blue is amazing. I am so happy with this freaking console. Y'all don't even know. This is amazing. Oh, the bottom's also blue. Oh, oh, I'm so excited, dude. It is so beautiful, man. It is so freaking beautiful. And um, I won't be including this in the live stream, but I will be including it in the video when I like, you know, edit this and make it into a pretty unboxing video. It makes a special sound when you turn it on. That's unique to this xbox so all other xbox when you turn it on it does like a little noise this one has a custom sound special to halo so <laughs> so excited for that okay so just for point of reference here's the sound that the xbox one special edition makes so now here is the sound that this new one makes never tried it out before so let's see what it's like <laughs> it's a lot more chill and discreet than the one from last year or than, than the Xbox one I actually appreciate that because whenever I'm trying to play this late at night and my girlfriend's trying to go to sleep The Xbox one is so freaking loud <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. That was so much freaking fun. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy. We got it We got it. I officially have a special edition. What well, okay? I have a special edition Xbox console for every generation I have the special edition Xbox for the Xbox 360, the, the special Halo edition for the Xbox 360, which is green. And then I have the special Xbox 360 Slim edition for Halo. I have the Xbox special edition um, Halo edition for Xbox One. And now I have the Xbox Series X Halo special edition. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. Uh, I'm not sure how 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 often. Well, so far I've, I've been taking off all the tape. We might just like change it so I only take off the. Or sorry, I only cut it, but I don't necessarily take off the tape because I noticed the box. Even though it didn't rip, it left like a weird little ripple effect to it. So the the box took a little bit of damage, unfortunately. But okay, so for all future unboxings, one of the most beautiful pieces of art ever. I am never taking the tape off again. Unless I, I have to. Because I know I was doing it, but look, my box legit got ruined. And it wasn't even like this tape was like old. Like this is like legit console just came out. But I took off the tape and look at that. Look at that. Freaking ruined. So on the bright side, this side it still looks beautiful. This is the side that we're going to show off. I mean, y'all saw it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that bad. So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it once again. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment. And do not forget to subscribe to one of those amazing YouTube families out here if you have yet to. I love you all. And I will see you all next time. Wolfpack. Hey, what is up, Wolfpack? Thank you all so much for making it to the end of the video. I want to take this time right now to thank my patrons. It is thanks to you all that I'm able to keep this channel going. If you are also interested in helping support the channel and you'd like to see more content like this, click on the very first link that you see down below. Anything from as far as 3 to $5 goes a long way. Once again, I love you all, Wolfpack, and I will see you all next time.
Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, hopefully y'all are as crazy as me or more.